Now page four, no partisan justice, no peace. Maxine Waters is a political arsonist. She lights a verbal fire under certain people and issues, and then she runs away, watching them burn from afar. And then she acts like she's done nothing wrong. Case in point, the Congresswoman's latest oral Molotov cocktail against the 45th president at all. Max Watt is now denying that she's inciting violence against Team Trump and the supporters of the president, even though her video tirade speaks for itself. The president is now calling Max Watt the face of the Democrat Party, and, well, she pretty much is. Nancy Pelosi can come out and not condone Waters for her attack rhetoric, but the truth is Pelosi and Waters are on the same page. This is Pelosi's last stand. She is dying to grab the gavel again in the House. She supports Max Watt in her effort to gin up the Democrat base. They will do anything to drive Democrat voters of the polls in November so the Democrats can regain control of the House so they can impeach President Trump. It's that simple. And the same goes for their radical, sycophant friend in the United States Senate, Chuck Schumer. But we all have to remember to treat our fellow Americans, all of our fellow Americans, with a kind of civility and respect. Stop the tape. I'm we just wondering why Chuck Schumer and the rest of the modern Democrat Party won't treat all Americans with civility and respect. This would include unborn Americans, young babies in the womb. This man is pro-abortion anytime, anywhere. So why not have respect and civility for the unborn, Senator Schumer. Just wondering, they're no less American than you or I. Roll tape. We expect will be afforded to us. I strongly disagree with those who advocate harassing folks if they don't agree with you. Stop the tape. And that's rich. Here, this guy's the number one harasser in the United States Senate for the last 15 or so years. Even when Harry Reid was allegedly number one in the United States Senate for the Democrats, this guy was right at his heels, harassing away. And he doesn't just harass the President of the United States, of course. This guy's been harassing for a career. And in the end, what he is harassing is, is you and I and the United States Constitution. He doesn't care about the founding document. He doesn't care about freedom and individual rights. He doesn't care about the history of this country. He just cares about the Democrat Party and he himself staying in power. And he too, by the way, is chomping at the bit to take over the leadership of the United States Senate in a, in a kind of a, a gross backdoor way. It might actually be better for the Republicans to lose power in the United States Senate. I, I hate to say that, uh, but I think it would slap some sense into some of these members of the United States Senate on the Republican side. I could be wrong on that, could be dead wrong. I don't know. Roll tape. If you disagree with someone or something, stand up. Make your voice heard. Explain why you think they're wrong and why you're right. Make the argument. Protest peacefully. Stop the tape. So, you... so here's Chuck Schumer playing good cop to Maxine Waters being the bad cop, when in reality they're both on the same page, both on the same team. They want to destroy the 45th president of the United States. Roll tape. Disagree with a politician? Organize your fellow citizens to action and vote them out of office. Stop the tape. That's pretty rich as well. Here's a guy who has lived off the public dole his entire career since the 1970s, first in the New York legislature, uh, then in the House of Representatives, and, and now in the United States Senate. He's never had a job in the private sector. He's always lived off you and me. Vote out of office? He's a poster child for term limits. Roll tape. But no one should call for the harassment of political opponents. That's not right. That's not American. Now, I understand those who look at the conduct of this president, a man who hab habitually engages in bullying. Stop it. Name see, see, this is not a rebuke of Maxine Waters. This is just a way to attack the 45th president once again. Sure, President Trump uh, is a bully. He's got a bully pulpit on behalf of the American people, all Americans, not just the Americans who voted for him. All Americans are benefiting from a better economy, right? All Americans would benefit from a secure border. All Americans benefit from a United States military that is beefed up once again. President Trump has the bully pulpit, and he's using it to put the United States back on the constitutional rails, and this man and his party cannot stand it. 
So Democrat leadership will bemoan Max Watt publicly like this, but behind the curtain, behind the scenes, they're patting her on the back. That's because Democrat leadership knows that their dream of control of the House rests on voter turnout in November. And Max Watt is the Democrat Party's CTO, the chief turnout officer. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.